later. I'm gonna sing the song. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> One of my favorite songs. <laughs> gathered here today in the sight of God and these witnesses to join together Mary Davis and John Ross holy matrimony which is an honorable estate instituted of God it is the first man and the first woman walked from the earth a few may ask in this world that we live in today why should you get married when I asked Mary and John why they wanted to have this ceremony it was agreed that the purpose was a renewing of their relationship with God they shared with me the desire to have God bless their home. When I asked them about their personal relationship with God, both of them acknowledged their relationship with God. John told me that he talks to God every day. Just like the first man and the first woman, that is what God desires of us. It is into this holy estate that these two people present come now to be joined. To each of you present today, I would say if you don't have a relationship with God today, you need one. You need to ask Jesus to be your Savior. The wedding ceremony is a reminder of the way Jesus is the groom and loves us, his church, the bride. God loves you today. Jesus loves you, and he wants a relationship with you. Friends, Mary and John will need your support for their relationship. Therefore, I ask you as their friends and family, to pledge your support for them by saying, we will. So please join me in saying, we will. We will. We will. We will. Who gives this woman to be married to this man? We do. Me and my wife. Thank you. Y'all will come down and stay. As the Apostle Paul wrote in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13, verse 4 through 7, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. You'll join me now. We're going to pray together before we do our vows. Father God, I ask that as Mary and John come to pledge themselves to each other, that you would help them, that you would bless them, that their love may be pure, and that their vows may be true. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, I ask this. Amen. Amen. Mary and John, you've come together this day so that the Lord may seal and strengthen your love in the presence of myself, a minister of his word, and this community of family and friends. And so in the presence of this gathering, I ask you to state your intentions. Have you both come here freely and without reservation to give yourselves to each other in marriage? If so, answer by saying, I have. I have. Jesus has pictured as the groom. He came into the world to give his life for the church, which is his bride. The Bible instructs a husband to love his wife the way Christ loved the church and gave his life for the church. John, do you promise to love Mary 
with this sacrificial love, which puts her first and forsakes all, all others. Mary, the Bible says you're to love and honor your husband. Do you promise to love and honor him, forsaking all others to be his helpmate? I do. At this point, they ask that we exchange rings so we could have the rings played. I'm sorry, I'm not to walk in base for you. <clears throat> this ring is a symbol of endless love. As Christians, we believe in life everlasting. <clears throat> With the exchange of your rings, you promise a never ending love like this ring is never ending for each other. Some people include that phrase at this point about until death do us part. But since we believe in eternal life, May you, with your exchange of your rings, promise to love each other forever and forgive each other as need be. Mary, please take the ring you've selected for John, and as you place it on his finger, repeat after me, with this ring I be wed. With this ring I will be wed. John, please take the ring you have selected for Mary. As you place it on her finger, repeat after me, with this ring I be wed. This is a significant day in your lives and also in the life of your son. He probably won't remember today, but in the future, he will know that his parents asked God to be in his family. I want to ask God now to bless you together as a family, as a witness of this ceremony today. God is saying to each of you in the crowd that he wants an exclusive relationship with you. Just like Mary and John have promised here to be exclusive to one another. Mary and John are making this decision today. You should make that decision as well and trust Jesus Christ in an exclusive relationship with Him. You will now, we'll pray once more. Father God, we come to you and I ask that you would bless this wedding, that you would bless this marriage and bless this family. John and Mary and Jamie, as they they forge forward in whatever life they bring. You would bless them. You would be always with your son at the center of their new lives together as they start building their home together, as they start building a marriage relationship with one another. May they always know true love and kindness for one another. May you bless them in their marriage. May you give them happiness and joy all the days of their lives. And may you fill them up with your happiness and your blessing. I ask these things now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Mark 10, 9 says, Those whom God has joined together, let no man put us under. Insomuch as Mary and John have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company. They have given and pledged their faith to each other. They have declared the same by giving and receiving their ring. It is at this point that I pronounce you husband and wife. And I ask now that you would seal this promise with each other, with a kiss to the bride. So John, you kiss your bride. <laughs> I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. John Roth. <laughs> Good job. Good job.